one inky bashful here or stinky and um after nearly a year i am finally here to complete the season one review of all engines go so yeah now just quickly fuck shit crap crap fuck fuck frick youtube if you mark this for kids you're encouraging kids to swear i do apologize um yeah i do apologize for having the warning so either way let's begin with the review the tiger train kind of enjoyed this episode young bao returns in the show and young bao and the tiger is referenced which is cool overall not a bad episode five out of ten the can do submarine crew so harold finally spoke in the show his voice is all right the episode however i've kind of forgotten most of it two out of ten thomas and percy's excellent adventure episode was boring to be honest but nice seeing james in the role where it'd normally be gordon clarby crowd the second episode we saw the storyboards. I also forgot I watched this episode originally. It was alright. 2 out of 10. Trinosaurus Rex. Episode sucked. I hate when the song's just nursery rhyme reskins. 1 out of 10. The super long shortcut. First episode of the show I liked more than I hated. Nice seeing a tender engine as one of the mains. And the bit of the map was funny. 6 out of 10. A light delivery. Episode sucked. Only good bit was the number one engine song. Three out of ten. The paint problem. Episode was just Thomas screwing up again and again and again, and you get the idea. Episode was boring. One out of ten. A wonderful world. Oh shit! The engines got stupid. I mean, Sandy didn't know flowers were on soda, and Diesel didn't know fruit grow on trees. One out of ten. Whistle woes. Persmus is now a thing, and it's a ship name. Someone, I mean, I mean, it's stupid. It's going to be a ship name. You all know it's going to be. Someone's going to do it. Also, Farmer Cold is unrecognisable. Gorzin is a bird enthusiast now, and I hate how the trucks don't like runaways. It's the, it's the best bit about them. Two out of ten. Letting off steam. James is missing his tender in one shot, and Thomas and Percy just dicks to each other because of nothing. 1.5 out of 10. Nia's perfect plan. You're telling me the engines only do one job per day? It was nice having Thomas, not having Thomas be the main character in the episode. Who is the purple engine at the crossing unless they brought back that one foreign engine? I think he was in Ch India or China, I don't remember. You know, Purple Henry, anyone? Something to remember. Well, Young Bao is gone. The bit of Tom and Hat is a bit funny. And what the heck was that seesaw in the mines? 3 out of 10. Sandy versus the storm. Unlike her last episode, I don't think Sandy was annoying in this one. Also, Emily spoke for the first time. 3 out of 10. An unbelievable day. Gordon's reaction was perfect. Carly has a weird smile in one bit. And the engines except Gordon are shit actors. 1 out of 10. Ghost Train. What the fuck is that machine? Also, Boxy scares the crap out of everyone. 2 out of 10. A Rusty Rescue. Man, they got Rusty all wrong. He looks nothing like he did in the original series. Also, Diesel's burp is very accurate to him. Where would the tender engine sleep, though? 4 out of 10. Hide Surprise. Nice having a Diesel episode. But that's about it. Apart from the interesting selection of characters, 4 out of 10. Popper Wheelie. The rivalry between the trucks was funny, but did Diesel lose a hand and Thomas give him a hand if we go by the logic of how they control their wheels? 4 out of 10. Goodbye, Ghost Game Machine. I hate that machine, it's ridiculous. 1 out of 10. More Cowbell. Really annoying forced morals about sharing. If they hadn't said that number one rule, blah, 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 it would have been better. One out of ten. Sir Topham Hat's hat. Why is the hat going on the museum? Who's just going to look at some hat and be like, oh, cool, that was the controller's hat. I mean, you might as well put his entire uniform in there. Two out of ten. Near surprising surprise. He can fly. Percy can fly. Also, do they do a party like this every year for every engine? Because that would mean, like, a party a week. Also, who invited the trucks? 2 out of 10. A new view for Thomas. The Thomas way, anyone? 
episode was good though, like the pairing of Thomas and Harold. 4 out of 10. Skiff sales soda. Did the writers just look at the previous episode and say, let's do that with Skiff? Now I see how he became a rail boat in this universe. 4 out of 10. Song of Sodor. At last, the season final. 52 episodes and I'm done. All I have to say is, the truck confirmed he had the mum. What the fuck? 3 out of 10. And that, that's that. That is all 52 episodes of the season's review. Um, anyone who's watched all four parts of this review series so far, because I also did a race to cut, I hope you enjoyed them. And, um, yeah, that's all I have to say. I will review season two once I've seen, um, that'll only be in two parts, though. And, yeah, thank you for watching, and goodbye.